What's up YouTube? I wanted to make a video of uh, something I created before I went ahead and threw it in my truck. But uh, I got a digital dash here that I made pretty much uh, from scratch. Although I did use a couple of uh, a couple of cheating treated cheating items from uh, another car. Basically. Let me start here with it turned on. Focus. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay. Um, that's a bit bright in the video. It doesn't quite look like that in person. But anyway, let me go ahead and I can actually turn that light down. Now, let me turn it on. You see some companies that... Uh, are selling digital dashes now because they're basically... becoming the norm sorry about that i don't know why it was doing that uh they're becoming more normal and there's companies like autometer making them for like a thousand bucks or something and it only comes with like two dashes or you know two templates two different looks for it to uh choose from it's basically a ripoff so what we have here is uh it's a cluster out of a honda civic 2016 plus you can get a cluster that actually has a good template for you because they use a uh, tablet in theirs, just like you see in mine here. So I bought a cluster from a 2016 Honda Civic, 2016 Plus has them. And I basically gutted it, and then I installed my own tablet and my own gauges on the sides. Um, I used the 8-inch Galaxy Tab 8.5-inch tablet, but basically any 7 to eight inch tablet will fit right in where you're removing theirs already. Um, but the important part is that you want to use a little program called Real Dash. Yeah, there's uh, Torque and a couple of others that have been around for years, but they have shitty graphics. Um, Real Dash is a uh, an app by Napco, and it's got basically untouchable graphics. Nothing else has it to date. Uh, I got multiple templates to choose from here, too. I'm not sure. It really doesn't want to focus on that screen. There it goes. Um, so when, I'm, when I'm, my car fires up, that's what I'll see. And that's my dash there. Although you might not get that great of a look. But anyway, I chose the Galaxy again. Um, the eight, eight and a half, I think it is, tab. Because it's the only tablet that has the 22 hundred dpi or you know uh, resolution so it's going to give you the best graphics but if it's in your car you're going to need a way to control it because you cannot touch the touch screen obviously now i have a uh, a trackpad built into my center console where i can control it but just for showing you i'm using a bluetooth mouse right now because again you can't touch the actual um tablet so you want to be able to control it when you need to although the goal is to never have to really touch it but anyway so i'm using a mouse right now and i'm going to show you just a couple of different things here um real dash again is the actual application now if i go back to that um i'll start that up and i'm going to show you how you get different endless screens to choose from as opposed to auto meter where you're paying a thousand bucks for like two um, all right, so this is the one I'm using right now. Uh, try to get a look on that. But anyway, I can just go up here anytime, go over to my gallery here, and then I have multiple screens where I can actually choose from. Let me just pull up one other just to give you an example. Um, let's use this one. You just click on it basically you could set these up to where the, you can switch even faster I just haven't got that far yet um, but there's endless screens to choose from uh, it's not a cheap application but it's worth it because again you're not going to find any other that has the graphics this choose for, um, this uses you just apply the new screen and then you can have a, a completely different look to your dash 
Now, from my outside gauges, you'll see with the Honda Civic uh, cluster, they already had this tablet here in the center. So you're basically taking their tablet out and putting yours in. And then they have a gauge on the right and on the left. Now I put the fuel gauge, I chose a fuel gauge and the temperature gauge on the right and left because the one thing this center application can't do is monitor your fuel. Most OBD2 monitors do not include your fuel levels. So you need a way, you wanna be able to do that. So I added an external um, fuel gauge here on the right and a temperature gauge on the left. Plus you're gonna need, if you're gonna use this Civic cluster, you're gonna need something this, um, right here. This is an altimeter. It uh, does a few different things. It's also a speedometer, a uh, compass. Basically, I had a gap in my dash. I have an all-custom interior, which I'll get to someday um, and make a video of that, where this fits into. And I had a, a, a gap underneath of this cluster when it's installed between my steering wheel and the actual cluster. So I filled that with what's called the X90 uh Altimeter, it's uh, altimeter, you know, it measures uh, how high you are. That there, you get a good view on that one. Um, it's the X90, and I again, I just kind of built that into a uh, custom frame and stuff too to fill that space uh, that I had there on my dash. But now, oh, the one last thing about the tablet if you do want a tablet, you want to use a tablet as the dash in your car. The one thing you're going to have to really have besides a way to ex uh, con uh, control it externally if you need to is a, a way to power it on and off as quick as possible because whoops, you don't want, you can't touch the screen so it, you can't power it off. But what I put, there's two different ways you could do it. You can wire an external button um, which, which is just you're soldering in a couple of wires uh, to a, a momentary button switch which I have here right on the top. Um, and that's just wiring it directly and that'll turn your power on and off. However, what I learned is the when you start taking tablets apart and start soldering stuff to them, you're really messing with the uh, integrity of the tablets and they just start to uh, fall apart, like you could say. You can burn holes easy if you, if you have the incorrect uh, temperature on the solder iron, it's just best not to take them apart. So what I, what I found to do, or is the best route for me anyway, is I use a little solenoid. It's a little 12 volt solenoid, and it just actually presses the button for me. And you see it controls the screen on and off just by pressing the button. And you can see a little bit under here, basically what it is. Um, it, I just build it up on it. It's kind of like uh, there, there's a bracket that I uh, attach to the actual uh, cluster frame, and then uh, I just kind of uh, attach the solenoid to that, and then you just make sure it's over top of the power button, and you can control the power button from there. Anyway, total setup under about 200 bucks, and again, it's uh, endless possibilities. When I get it installed uh, in the truck, I'll make a, another video um, to show you how it works with the uh, trackpad that the entire custom uh, interior that I built uh, my truck for this to go in. And if you have any questions, let me know. Unfortunately, I don't have time to make a total how-to video, but I just wanted to show you what's possible. And I, I know that uh, there's quite a few people out there that can take uh, take just seeing this and be able to create um, your own. All it takes is a little imagination and a couple hundred bucks. So good luck.